What's up, everybody? Joe here with Joe's Disc Golf, and I have got your FPO tournament coverage for Texas State Championship, Tyler, Texas 2021 at Dogwood Park. It was a fantastic day, rather tough day. This course is very, very technical, very tight, lots of wood, lots of trees, lots of getting off the fairway. And even if you're on the fairway, things still might not go your way because there are still a lot of trees in what they call the fairway because, well, down in Texas, bigger is better. Everything is bigger in Texas except their fairways. Those are scrawny. Those are tight. Those make for some interesting disc golf. And today we have some exciting, exciting news in a very pretty commanding lead, I'd say, is Rebecca Cox shooting six under par on the day. She had one bogey on hole 14. Rebecca Cox was lights out. She was just going great today. Not too far off of her, two strokes behind her at a four under par, we have Haley King. She managed to have three bogeys and still finished four under par. Absolutely impressive Haley King. Again, if this is this is a game of inches on this course. Three inches could be the difference between those bogeys and a birdie. Three inches could mean you hit that tree and you're off deep into the woods, into the cedar, and you're not getting out. You're just pitching out, praying for a bogey look. Praying for a bogey look. You missed that by three inches, and you're sitting circle one. Maybe you're sitting in the middle of circle two. Who knows? But that's just how it goes sometimes. That is how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Sitting in third place, we have a tie. We have Owen Scoggins sitting at a three under par. She managed to go through with only three bogeys. Again, not a bad showing there. And again, I'm just saying this. Three inches either way could be the difference between going three under par and going six under par and tying Rebecca Cox. That's how close things are. Another person tied for third place and wrapping up our FPO lead card for tomorrow, which you can find on Central Coast Disc Golf Channel and on Disc Golf Network, is Jessica Weiss. She managed two bogeys and a double bogey and still shot a three down. She had four bogey strokes total and managed three under par. She cleans that up just a little bit. It's going to be lights out. This FPO lead card is stacked. They're doing absolutely fantastic. And again, tied for third here, fifth, so top of the chase card, is Holly Finley. Also, three under par. She only had one bogey. No one from what I have seen really went bogey-free on the FPO side. Very difficult course. Very, very difficult, very technical course. Rounding out the chase card is Katrina Allen at two under par, Stephanie Vincent and Lisa Fakus at one under par each. So... Very, very, very good job there. Now, my predictions were that the difficulty of the holes, I thought that people were going to struggle with holes 2, 3, 10, 12, 14, and 17. I was quite wrong on most of these. Hole 2 ended up being one of the harder holes on the women's side. But other than that, it was holes 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 16. Not quite that close for me in guessing what was going to go wrong there. I was looking at that and seeing what would give me trouble. I am not, clearly not an FPO player. I'm also not an MPO player. I'm not a pro at all. I'm an amateur. So I just looked and thought, hey, you know what? These are the holes that look a little difficult uh, based on the maps that were provided on UDISC. And that's what I based it off of, which didn't show all of the trees, clearly. But it didn't also show some of the stuff of how rough it got on the sides there. And that's what really kind of hurt me there. Some of the holes that did look difficult, turns out they're not as difficult as you would imagine once you get out on the course. Now, if you're looking at skip ace and seeing how I fared with skip ace after day one, well, we've got um, Valerie Mondajuano and Kona Starpanis both tied at 11. So giving you some decent points. Tomorrow is moving day. So who knows? They're only a couple strokes off. Both of them are sitting at one over par, so easily could come up. I mean, this, again, this course is a game of inches. 
and it can definitely, definitely, definitely change big time between today and Sunday. So who knows what's going to happen. If you want to watch all of the wrap-up coverage, all of the shots from the lead card of FPO, again, go to Central Coast Disc Golf. They will have all of the shot coverage for the FPO lead card for this weekend. Can't forget to talk about Paige Pierce. She is uh, sitting currently even, which puts her tied for ninth. Yep, she is currently sitting ninth. I wouldn't underestimate her. This girl is on fire and she will do some great stuff. Now, hopefully things will progress better for her in this next round. Remember, round two is moving day. This is where we're going to see a lot of big movement on these cards. I've been Joe. You've been awesome. This has been FPO wrap up coverage for the Texas State Championship. 2021 held at Dogwood Park in beautiful Tyler, Texas, Rose City, capital of the U.S. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video.